We've been talking about zeros who became heroes from the Bible. What about modern time? It's no accident that a burning light bulb is used to represent a great idea. We all know that the inventor of the light bulb was Thomas Alva Edison. He was one of the most prolific inventors, holding 1,093 different patents, including an automatic boat recorder, the phonograph, and early motion picture projector. In the world of science, he is definitely a hero. But as a young boy, his teachers told him and his parents that he was, quote, too stupid to learn anything. His work career wasn't much better. He was fired from his first two jobs for not being productive enough. But Edison persisted. As an inventor, it would be hard to consider him a hero in his early days. The first 1,000 or so efforts failed. When a reporter asked him about the failures, Edison remarked, I didn't fail 1,000 times. The light bulb was an invention with 1,000 steps. We know from American history that Abraham Lincoln was born in a log cabin and did his lessons by the light of the fireplace. But there's a lot about Abraham Lincoln that school didn't tell us. In his early 20s, he lost the love of his life, and that plunged him into depression and was ultimately responsible for a nervous breakdown. We didn't learn that he went to war as a captain and returned as a private. As an attorney, he wasn't that great. As a businessman, Lincoln was an abject failure. Even as a politician, he lost the first five times he ran for office. A big zero so far. Lincoln's legacy began to change in 1858 with the Lincoln-Douglas debate. He was elected in 1860 as the 16th President of the United States. History records him as one of the greatest American heroes. He was one of the greatest presidents and single-handedly changes the course of American history with the Emancipation Proclamation. A true American hero. He made it to the $5 bill and to Mount Rushmore. In business, there are many zeros that made it to hero status. At age 65, Harlan Sanders had no savings, lived alone, and was living on a $100 a month pension. Pretty much a zero by most standards. But Sanders wasn't satisfied. Everyone said his mother's fried chicken was the best they had ever eaten. Harlan seceded that could be the beginning of something big. But fate wasn't ready yet. Harlan took her chicken, complete with 11 herbs and spices, door to door. He took the chicken to 1,000 sales calls before he sold his first order. His finger-licking good chicken became a worldwide franchise with over 15,000 locations. Icons come from strange places. In the 1930s, a young artist approached dozens of newspapers in an attempt to get a job as a political cartoonist. Every one of the newspaper editors told him he had no talent. Zero. Late one evening, a little mouse scurried from his hiding place in the wall of the shed the artist used as his studio. The halting dance performed by the mouse as he ran for additional cover inspired the artist. And this four-legged creature carried this zero-talent cartoonist to the namesake of a media empire and the most favorite hero of every young child. You could be a nerd who was a college dropout who liked computers. You could be a mechanic that went broke five times before he succeeded who had a better idea. You could be a kid from the ghetto who liked basketball but was cut five times from his high school team. You could be a young British kid who failed the sixth grade and lost every time he ran for a public office. Or you could be ordinary like me. Every day God takes zeros to do his work and every day those zeros 
become heroes.